So about one hour away from Phuket International Airport, leaving Phuket, I've come up north to Kaolak area and this is the Morasia Hotel. It's another one of those hotels where you can get an expensive room at more than 10,000 baht a night. But I prefer to get the cheaper rooms. My room is 1,600 baht a night. So let's find out whether it's worth that price. <laughs> is easily accessible from Phuket or Krabi about 100 or 130 kilometers away. When you walk inside the hotel you can see it's a very hilly area and the hotel here is perched on a hill has a beautiful view down into the valley and there's many many resorts that you can choose from. Once you get inside the room you can see it's absolutely oozing in class look at the dark wood and the beautiful color scheme those purples oranges and gold makes it feel very very high class and a nice welcome arrangement on the bed it's all very spacious and it's all very airy gives a lovely feeling of relaxation beautiful smell impeccably clean and all of the fittings just ooze four star or five star. You are in the jungle area so you do have to be careful of mosquitoes. Helpfully they've put a mosquito guard on the patio door. And just look at that artwork and the way that you've got soft lighting throughout the room. I immediately just wanted to snuggle up and go to bed. You've got all the trappings that you'd expect from a top class hotel. You've got plenty of room in a proper wardrobe or closet to hang your clothes. You've got a safe, you've got dressing gowns to wear. You've got tea and coffee making facilities. I'd rather have something better than this cafe but nevertheless. What's in the fridge? Well that was a little bit of a disappointment because at the time that I checked it there was nothing in there whatsoever, just room to put your complimentary water in. And again look at the lighting, look at the mirrors, look at the dark wood and you're kept cool by a very quiet and powerful air conditioning unit and you've got a flat screen TV on the wall as you would expect. You can see the Wi-Fi router there as well. I checked the speed of the Wi-Fi and it was good and strong throughout. Looking out on the balcony, it's an absolute oasis. Space is not at the premium here, so everything is spread out over a wide area. You've even got a large bathroom, which again has beautiful tiles, very natural and fitting with the environment. But at the same time, it's also very modern and clean. You've got a shower that was nice and strong, although not in my picture it wasn't, but fluffy white towels to keep you nice and warm. And all of the mod cons that you'd expect from a 5 star or 4 star hotel. And there you have it, a beautiful sea view, but unfortunately both the sky and the sea looking a little bit on the grey side and the cloud is quite low, it looks a bit ominous. There is a bit of blue sky over there so fingers crossed it's going to clear up soon. In terms of the weather the forecast is for rain for the next few days but actually as with Thai weather in general when they say rain there's a strong short shower followed by a period of sun breaking through and then unfortunately there's another strong shower after that but it's not like in England where when they say rain they mean it's raining all day. Here it's rain and sun, rain and sun, rain and sun. If you can put up with that then the low season might not be such a bad time to come. Almost everywhere you go in the resort there's loungers looking out to sea 
and there's plenty of them as well and as you can see the hotel is not busy at the moment being the off season and most of those lounges are available you'd have to clear the puddles off first but it's a great view day number two so they said come in the low season it's going to be cheaper prices on the hotel and we do have some nice sunny days well it is cheaper prices on the hotel but i've never been so interested in whether there's umbrellas in the room as today because oops look at these steps then i'm going down to breakfast and in all honesty i was woken up quite early today by the sound of heavy rain against the window and it's just stopped raining long enough for me to venture out it's a little bit of a walk down to the breakfast room watching my way i don't want to trip up on camera that wouldn't be good would it <clears throat> and luckily it's only a short walk this property is quite big that's why they give you a map to tell you where to go around the place and if you didn't have that map you'd be lost quite easily but they do give you the map here i am miles from anywhere in the lush jungle the reason it's so lovely and green and natural looking is because it bloody pours down with rain so much and uh, I think you might be able to hear on the microphone it's just starting to pour down again now because the five minutes of break from the rain have clearly finished already <laughs> So the best news of the morning is that they've got a proper coffee machine included in the breakfast price. So this must be the main buffet breakfast area. Soy milk and fresh milk. That's good to see actually, soy milk. Here is the usual cereal selection and some rather gorgeous looking yoghurt. Plain yoghurt, strawberry yoghurt, looks like homemade and some fruit salad. Over here you've got various types of salad, mixed salad, corn spicy salad. I mean look at the beautiful colours on that. It's such a dull day that it's a pleasure to see such beautiful colours and different dressings there that you can put. Here we've got some tomatoes, onions and cold meats. Butters and various types of jam looks like there's a wasp fancies a little bit of that some warmed waffles and pancakes the usual kind of toaster some plain croissant some Danish pastries chocolate croissant multi-grain bread and the more standard brown and white bread with another toaster moving into the middle we've got some hot dishes Maybe more aimed at the Asian market, we've got steamed rice, stir-fried chicken with ginger, some vegetables there, some mushrooms look absolutely delicious, I must admit. And we've got some chicken sausage, some potato and hash brown, some meatloaf and hash brown. Over on this wall you've got some chilled water. You've also got what is described as a healthy drink, which looks like water with some fruit put in it. Butterfly pea juice, lychee juice, orange juice. Well, fantastic display for breakfast. And just over there in the distance, you can see that is the egg station. On the menu for the egg station, the signature is Eggs Benedict Fossant. Or you can have omelette, scrambled egg, fried egg, baked egg, and boiled egg. I don't know what baked egg is. But anyway, a great choice of eggs. It's definitely the case that whilst I've complained about the weather, which is not unexpected, I mean it's not unexpected the weather, it's also not unexpected that I complained about something, then cannot complain about this fantastic breakfast. So the fitness room says it's open 24 hours. Let's have a look inside. Immediately, even though it's not being used at the moment, it's cooler inside, two air conditioning units. It's quite a big room, really. You can see you have the free weights over there next to the mirror, a couple of bicycles, some multi-gym chest press, 
type affair pull down and also here you've got one two three running machines and a treadmill type of machine as well I don't know I'm not an expert on these things look at me yesterday when I arrived the sea was kind of like a very dark green almost black color today it is beautiful turquoise blue as the Sun's come out blue sky with only a few clouds and you can see all the forestation going right down to the waterside there it's a beautiful view and here I guess you can see a ping-pong show well maybe not a show but you can join in and play table tennis and there's several swimming pools at this hotel as well. This one is looking out onto the sea. Several small bars and restaurants dotted around the resort as well. This is one of them that is open in the afternoon. And you'd obviously get a great view of the westward facing sunset there. Lots of very natural plates being cut there. It's all very green, isn't it? Literally. So I think this must be one of the oldest, perhaps the oldest tree in this particular resort. And it's been decorated at the bottom. And I believe it's a feeling that there's someone or people inside the tree that can provide good luck or even a miracle if we dress the tree like that. But anyway, it's an old tree even older than me and here is the by my spa and they did have a leaflet in the room showing they've got some promotion on at the moment let's see if we can just look inside there is a town about 10 minutes walk away from the hotel or you can get a songtail a taxi and that charged 100 baht to come here um, it's a fairly standard strip for a Thai town. Here is a market where you seem to be able to buy almost anything. 90% of it probably is fake. And there's a load of restaurants to choose from, currency exchange, everything you'd expect from a normal Thai town. So that was 24 hours in Kaolak. Okay, so I came in the rainy season and the weather has been raining and sunny, raining and sunny. The weather here seems to change not every day, but every hour. But really this hotel is a four star hotel and they're going to apply to be five star, they told me. And they do have the facilities of a five star hotel. If you book the room like I did, it's only 1,600 baht, including breakfast. So do you think it's worth it? Come north of Phuket, you have a change of scenery and it's very quiet and very relaxing and well worth a visit in my opinion. Let me know in the comments section below, but for now, time to find a new hotel. See you very soon. Bye bye.